You're about to see the remarkable new images tonight of members of Russia's military spy agency, the GRU. Authorities say they were hard at work. The FBI indicting seven today, several of those suspects caught on camera after a daring spy operation. Here's ABC's chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, with the images tonight. Tonight, for the first time, we're seeing what authorities say was a Russian hacking plot stopped in the nick of time. The FBI and Dutch officials say these four Russian military intelligence operatives loaded this rental car full of electronic equipment. They would deploy a remote team, a hmm. close access team, as we say in the indictment, that would go on site and they would take sophisticated hacking equipment. Their alleged mission to hack the Dutch lab testing for the nerve agent used to target a former Russian spy and his daughter in Britain a month earlier. An attack blamed on Russia. Investigators stopping the men outside that lab before they could destroy their equipment. The suspects who had diplomatic passports were then expelled. The Russians got caught with their equipment, people who were doing it, and uh, they have got to pay the piper. Those men among seven Russian intelligence officers indicted in federal court today as part of a global crackdown on Russian cyber warfare that is aimed, U.S. officials say, at damaging the West. Authorities say at least three other men charged today have already been accused by special counsel Robert Mueller of hacking the Clinton campaign and the DNC during the 2016 election. Pierre Thomas with us live tonight as well. A lot of people at home, Pierre, are going to be asking. We're about 32 days now away from the midterm elections. And after you showed us those images tonight, how concerned is the FBI about Russian interference with American voters headed to the polls again very shortly? David, there is real concern about Russia's covert social media campaign and those hackers working for their military intelligence. David, those hackers we just saw in our story are still on the job right now in Russia. David. Pierre Thomas, live in Washington. Thank you, Pierre. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.